There are multiple approaches to working with arrays when you want to have different data that's related. One of my favorite ways of working with multiple arrays is to work with parallel arrays, where the items at the same index point relate to each other. So I have an example here of a tab at a restaurant that has five customers sitting at the table and the amount for each of their meals. Since customer one relates to 23.34, customer two, etc., you can look up items by customer and then change things at the same index in the parallel array. And I do just that. So I'm working with a search of the customers. So I'm doing for int i equals zero, i less than customer dot length, i plus plus. If customer i equals equals customer three, that's the customer that I'm looking for, I'm incrementing meals i, same index value, so they're the parallel, so customer three and 32.12 is his existing amount, I add $10 to it. Then I do a print line of the customer number and the one that was changed. So that shows you how to search and then add to the parallel array. And when you run it, and I'm going to run it now, here's what you get. The first, my first, uh, when I create the arrays, I do a for loop to print the customer name and then their meal price. The slash N in quotes is a signal for a new line. I put one before the meal and I put one again after the meal so that customer one, that's their amount. Customer two, that's their amount. Customer three, that's their amount. And then when I do the customer three, this is what it is after the $10 has been added to it. Working with parallel arrays lets you have as many different parallel arrays as you want to. So you could also have an array listing the different things that they ordered, drinks, etc., things like that, and have them all list for each customer. It's an easy way to manage fairly large amounts of closely related data.